a little group doing who-ish type of business. And then um, gradually sort of like picked up, scooped up new members from our journeys along the wayside. over the past few months to the point where like sometimes telepathic I, I, I don't really know the good word to describe it it's somewhere between sort of telepathic and hyperosmotic that's a cool word <laughs> yeah. um, it's two words and, and, and sometimes we sometimes we connect so strongly that it's eerie and that we sort of like look at each other during a jam and sort of like Giggle. We all, yeah. <laughs> Giggle. Steve giggles, I look surprised. Nick bones up. Um, <laughs> Nick gets an erection. Uh, Highly embarrassing. Yeah. That's why he sometimes turns and looks at me. He's, it's not because he wants to face away from he the audience. He just needs to hide it. Oh, the chug. chug. Oh, the chug <laughs> is, um, that doesn't come off very often. Oh, sorry, you go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's mainly apparent in our songs. They dated steadily. And Kevin just goes... <laughs> <laughs> well, he goes on like... <laughs> and Steve just goes... <laughs> and we just sort of... Oh, and we toboggan. Yeah, that's toboggan. a good That's the other term. Tobogganing is... Tobogganing. Can I explain toboggan? Yeah, you can explain. Okay, well, tobogganing is... You're not sort of like, there's no uh, change in, in slope of, of, um, of the intensity of the song. You're not slowly building to get something massive. You're not calming down or being quiet. It's staying at a really kind of steady uh, uh, level. Trajectory. Where you're just, yeah, trajectory. And you're just, um, we're all just sort of sticking at one really kind of groovy pace. Basically all of the meat and potatoes of the C-Split was recorded here at the North Basement. Uh, we got an 8-track, mic'd it up, drums and bass and guitar, and just chugged along for a couple of hours, got some riffs down, and made, out of about two hours of recording, about five minutes or so. Then we shifted that to the share house, and that's Nick, and Joe and Kevin's place, and we recorded it hours of aquaphone and people giggling and overdub solos from yeah. Floydian experience and stuff like that until 
it went from a three-ish, four-ish minute sort of a riff-based standard song to this 16-minute experience. I think we're booked in <coughs> to Kingdom Studios over the summer and we're just gonna go there for a week and um, I think just, just bash out all the songs we've been working on the last sort of year. And um, it's gonna be really good for us because we've never recorded on Analog before. We've never really been able to just indulge in a like, good studio. It's all about indulgence. Uh, with like, you know, time and that kind of stuff. It's always been really pressured. Apart from the, the split, obviously, which we've had here. Um, yeah. It was good for the split because, like, you know, we, we didn't have a super advanced recording material, but we didn't really have a super advanced song either, so we could just sort of fuck around with it at home. Whereas with the, with the album, you know, we've been we've been playing the songs just an unfathomable amount of times, and we all know them like the back of our ass, and <laughs> oh, in yeah, every song we we'll, like have a sort of erratic zone where we just trip over and go into like a folk song. Oh, <laughs> oh it's doomed. <laughs> fall out of the song and end up in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> 